Hello, I'm Dr. Julie Brown, and today we are going to look at the generic for Adrenoclick auto-injector versus the previously available Twinject auto-injector. So taking these out of the case, you can see that these two devices actually, on the surface of it, look really quite similar. Similar shape. They both have two caps, they have a similar label, and actually they, the label actually opens up in a very similar way to reveal extra information underneath. I'm going to remove those two caps and fire the devices. This one says one and two, and this one tells you you can remove them in any order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how you use that device. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very similar. You can see they look similar as and after they fire. But here is a striking difference. The Twinject actually has a screw-off cap. So after you use it, you can screw off this cap, which gives you access to the syringe inside and needle. And if you take off this little safety piece of orange, you can then access additional doses. And what you do is you pull back the plunger to the settings, it marks the little distance there, and then you can, uh, you can administer an additional dose. And again, pull back the plunger and administer an additional dose. So that's a pretty nice feature of that device, no longer available. Turns out this device is identical in every way except for allowing you to pull off that cap. And if you take off which is quite difficult to do because it's glued on, but if you pull off that cap, it turns out it even has the little ridges underneath like it should come off and if you take out the insides the vial and needle look really identical inside this is an older version and it even had the same markings on the inside really looks quite identical if you compare the older versus the newer version which I've now let disappear on my table Um, and then the newer version, which is here, they've made some very minor changes. So it no longer has the markings, and it has different colors, but it otherwise is a really similar vial and needle. So it's interesting that they have chosen to remove that option to access those additional doses. And I don't know if there were concerns that people were using it incorrectly, that they were trying to unscrew the cap before using the auto ejector for the needle dose, um, if they were not administering the additional doses correctly. Um, but it does seem interesting that um, a minor modification seems to have been made that now makes it difficult to access those extra doses. So that's the end of this review. Be safe, carry your auto injectors, be well, thank you for watching.